doing great. Um, today's Tuesday, Cinco de Mayo, and um, I'm just hanging out at home. I wanted to film like a little bit of a life update slash some words of encouragement for some people out there, including myself, and then also just film a little bit of me hanging out. Of course, Leo is bugging. One second. Come here. So anyway, today is my uh, second day as a stay-at-home dog mom. You can read between the lines as to what that really means. Needless to say, I can only imagine a lot of people are in the same boat as me right now with everything going on in the world. So I just want to give you guys some encouragement, some things that I've, you know, come to reflect upon myself. Of course, at first it was like a little bit of emo emotional time and I allowed myself to wallow a little bit. But after a few days, I just decided that this is an incredible time for me and for you if you're in the same boat. Because this is an opportunity for you to be able to create a new reality. I don't know about y'all, but I love change. I love the the thought of like life, you know, having surprises and learning new things, trying new things, having new adventures. I think all of that is just amazing. It's what makes life exciting and worth living. And sometimes those lives, adventures and changes come at us in an unexpected way sometimes we might portray it in a negative light at the beginning but honestly everything happens for a reason and there's sometimes like god or the universe whatever you want to believe in pushes you towards a certain direction against your will at the beginning but then into your journey you realize that it was actually for the better good and there was a purpose sometimes we get so comfortable where we are or it just isn't the right fit and we don't realize it until we're out of the situation so that's how i'm feeling right now if you're in a similar boat right now where life has just kind of like thrown at you some changes or something um that feels uncomfortable just know that um there's a lot of people going through the same thing right now and you're so lucky because like I said now you can really sit down at least I am look at what you want out of life make some notes think of some new dreams think of new ways to like create a new reality like a new um routine um a way to make yourself like more of the ideal you and your best version of yourself I hope this is all making sense but I just wanted to throw it out there like personally right now i am now a stay-at-home dog mom which means i can make a lot more videos i've always dreamt of making more content because i love motivating people i want to inspire people to go after what they want beat them you know do things that make them feel their best about themselves obviously i've gone through a roller coaster of these feelings myself like some days i'm so high some days i'm so low i'm not like positive all the time i'm not feeling the best about myself all the time but i really do always try to like gear back into like this focus of like being my best self um as in like you know i want to do things that make me feel happy like productive like i'm living um a life that makes me happy and excited and proud of myself so that's what i want to do with my videos like i want to um encourage people to feel like that and that's why i've been making more like videos about being healthy and things like that because at the beginning of this year i was sick for three months straight, I had a cold, I couldn't kick it, and it was because I wasn't taking care of my body. I was so stressed, and um, I just felt horrible, like very lethargic and depressed. Like my mood was really, really low, and I don't want to feel like that. So that's why I've been really focusing on my health journey, and I'm going to keep filming that and sharing that with you. I also want to share some, you know, life stories, life tips, lessons that I've learned with you. I think that people sometimes just need a little bit of a reminder to go after what they want and that's kind of like what i want to do i want to remind you to go after what you want and makes you happy so those are the kinds of videos i want to make i've always wanted like i said to have more time to do this and on top of other things so i'm looking at this as a um opportunity and if you're again going through something similar take some time and reflect rest a little bit wallow if you have to but rest a little bit as an adult it's like we never get the chance to just take time to ourselves and to rest and we have our entire lives to work we have our entire lives to like always be chasing a career and things like that and personally i have done that my entire life like i've just been chasing and chasing and chasing like a career or some like i don't know self validation that would come from having like a certain title or pay and for a while now I had, I had already decided that like i wanted my life more to be just me always thinking about work i've missed a lot of like time with family and friends and things like that because i've always just focused on work i've been working since i was 
literally 14, 15, 16 years old and I've never really stopped. If I didn't work at one point, it's because I was looking for another job or I was like in school. But for the most part, I've always been in school and working or if not had like two types of jobs to do. And this is my first time where I just can like not do that. And I'm excited about it and I just want to focus on learning to enjoy other parts of life, not just that. So this might also be a reset for you in that way where it's time to just look at life and realize like what more is there to work to life than just work and chasing like a certain validation or like um, satisfaction from like an external source. I don't know if that makes sense. I really hope it does. I just wanted to make this little part of the video a type of encouragement for you. Today is a stay at home dog mom kind of day and I'm gonna meal prep a few things. I'm gonna make tacos tonight, my little crock pot recipe and lentils. I've made videos about this before but um, today I'm gonna film it again just to hang out with you. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos, just like trying to pump you up to be healthy and product to be productive and you know just do what you want to do so anyway i'm gonna head over to the kitchen hang out with y'all and um have a great day let's go anyway like i said i allowed myself a little bit of wallowing therefore yesterday my kitchen was completely full of dirty dishes i couldn't even fit them all into the dishwasher finally cleaned everything out yesterday so i'm feeling really good about life even though this looks dirty but um nonetheless i got some cooking to do coincidentally i've taken out my little ah, my little skirt steak so i'm gonna show you the easiest recipe ever every time i make that people are in love with it and i'm just gonna make some some lentils some healthy stuff they kind of i like the lentils because they're they serve as a meal prep so then we're good for a few days. I don't have to worry about cooking dinner. And they're very good for you. They're full of fiber and protein. Um, and the veggies in there make it super healthy. So we're going to make all of the above. I'm excited. Actually, before I even start cooking, I want to show you this little um, breakfast slash maybe like brunch recipe that I've been making. So I showed it on my Instagram that I started. I have a little like wellness Instagram now called Petite Motivation. So you can see it there on my like little story. But um, I, since I haven't really shared too much of that Instagram, you may not know about it. So I still want to show you this recipe. So I've been having this um, yogurt. It's a probiotic cashew yogurt so it doesn't have sugar and it's really good because it's dairy free so it's not going to bloat you and then it has a probiotics that are really good for your gut health so they help with bloating cleaning out bad fungus not fungus bad bacteria from your stomach it helps with maybe clearing acne or even like lady issues down there so it's really good for you and then i've been using this granola from pure elizabeth that i got from amazon and i just use one third of a cup it doesn't have too much sugar for it being granola and it gives it that good a little crunch and then strawberries sadly I haven't had it have it I haven't even had these for a week and they're already like going bad which is kind of annoying but regardless I just cut around them and eat what I can so I just put one cup of this one third of this and then however many strawberries I want into the bowl and it's so good I know that like frozen fruit is cheaper and it lasts way longer but sometimes you just want that natural like Sometimes you just want the natural, you know, like feeling, like the consistency of it. So anyways, it doesn't look too glamorous, but it's really, really good. You can also add fennel seeds or something if you needed to add more protein. But I'm just going to eat it like this. There's a ton of strawberries. They just kind of like, they drowned. But I mean, this is so good and it's so easy and so good for you. I really, really wouldn't recommend it. You could also add like different types of fruits and chia seeds, honey, like whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm going to add some lemon water to this because I haven't drank water today yet. I just had my coffee and tea. I'm loving all my little recipes that I've been finding. Anyway, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to prep for my other meals that I want to show you. And then a little later, I should work out. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to make my skirt steak. It's so easy. You literally just dump it into the crop pot. 
Um, this is what you're going to need. So um, you're going to need the skirt stick. You don't even have to cut it or anything because once you put it in there, it's just going to kind of like dismantle itself. You can use some sauce. And then for sure, you'll need some broth. And then seasoning of choice. I go between using this or the other, if not both. This is from McCormick. This one has a lot of sodium and it has like not the best ingredients in it. But it's really just my favorite so I kind of like look the other way sometimes and still use it. And then some jalapeno and some onion. And if you have any kind of um, garlic cloves that would be amazing. I don't today. So this is what you're going to do. It's so easy. I wish I had a better tripod that could go over this. But you're just going to get your crock pot, which is what I have here. Do not get the liners. I've gotten the liners recommended. I've tried them so that it's like easy cleanup at the end. But honestly, they change the consistency and the taste of the food. And they're bad for the environment. And they're not, they don't, they're not good. Like, don't do that, okay? So anyways, um, you're just going to put the beef in here. You're going to add the, the onions. I'll show you in just a bit, like, what this looks like. We're gonna add the onions and the jalapenos and so you see I just threw everything in there There's really no rhyme or reason just throw it in and now I'm going to put the liquids and the seasonings on top So you don't want to submerge the entire thing. You just want to do it enough to where like It keeps everything moist <laughs> And lastly you're just gonna add some Some seasoning and that is literally it. So now I'm just going to cover it up. And I've, te so I've tested different cooking times. You can do 4, 6, 8, or 10. If you're going to like work or leave the house, you could do 8 or 10. I don't like the 4. That's the only one I don't recommend. But that's what it's going to look like. Alright, so now we're going to make the lentil soup. <sighs> this, I love to eat, but it is a little bit more work because I have to chop up the vegetables. I know, first world probs, but... It just takes a little bit more prepping, but then once you do it, it literally will last you like a week and you can just keep eating it and it's super good for you. So what I'm going to use are some celery stalks, onion, jalapeno, carrots, <laughs> uh, tomato, we're going to do some tomato sauce and some cilantro for the top. Of course, we're going to do seasonings. I like to use this. The nor is my favorite, like I said. And then I also like to use um, crushed red pepper just to give it like a little bit of a kick. And then you'll need like some type of broth vegetable. I like using chicken broth. And then, of course, the lentils. So I'm going to cut up all the stuff. I also like to add like um, zucchini, but I don't think I have any more. I'm going to check the fridge. I like to add a little bit of zucchini and then you just chop everything up and I'll show you how to make it in just a little bit. Alright, and here's just a little snapshot of all the low ingredients. I have to wash this up. So got everything ready except for onion. We're kind of low on it. I'm very upset. I don't know what happened here, but it's like a squishy onion that went bad. We're just going to work with it. I'm going to add the onion and the um, onion. about 40 minutes and then the last 10 minutes I'll in, add in the cilantro on top this is basically the same recipe I've shown a million times it's like my chicken soup recipe I just put lentils instead of chicken and it's really good after today I'm not gonna show you this recipe again because I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of it if you follow me on Instagram or if you watched an old video at some point so thanks for sticking but I just wanted to show you what I'm meal prepping today and then the potatoes are like basically done let's see how they came out I took out my potatoes of course when I'm filming it they don't come out as good as they normally do um, so I'm just gonna put them in the fridge when they cool off and then I can have them at any point for lunch or dinner okay so I'm about to exercise this is like the least glamorous 
setup of life. I'm just like in my room. I got my weights. I got my band. I got my water and my app right there. I'm about to do my little sweat workout. I don't have any energy to do this right now, but I'm gonna find it somehow. I appreciate it if the gym opened up. At least the one downstairs in my complex, but it's not. I don't think so. And so I've just been like either going for jogs or walks outside, but today is like a really overcast day, so I don't feel like going out there because it's supposed to rain. I don't want to accidentally get rained on. And I need to do a little bit more strength training, so that's why I'm doing my little um, sweat app that I always talk about. Get out of mommy's business. All right, so it's about 5.30. Gonna do it. Let's see. And oh, the first one, I like this. The first one is super easy. It's just literally clams. I can lay on the floor and be lazy. I like that. Had to hurry up and make a smoothie because I was so hungry after the workout. <laughs> this is what the beef looks like. Ooh. Basically ready. And heating up the tortillas. Okay, these are my tacos. I don't know if I'm gonna have lentils because that smoothie, usually I don't have it so late. So now I'm like so full from it. But look, it's like avocado, the little ground beef, cilantro. Um, Alan's making some for himself. He added cheese and a little bit of salsa to his. And we are hyped. So that's, I'm basically just going to eat my tacos and then I'm going to edit this video so I'm going to call it a night. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Stay positive and be zoomed. Bye!